All right, so here we are, day four, five, five, I think. So we're getting into it now. So I saw Nikki do some cleanup here last time. We've got the tools brought over, which we're gonna use to uh, do a few things today. But yeah, we're preparing to paint, tools, all the things. Got some, hopefully, only need a sheet of drywall. If we need another one, I'm gonna cry, because I brought this in when the wind was probably going at 40 miles an hour. It's like a sail taking me down the sidewalk. It's all I see. That's where we're at. So today, we're gonna get the trim off there, but we're gonna be taking that, moving that over so that we can do double doors here, just regular masonite doors, trimming that down, uh, reusing I the trim behind the door. I can't see it. Uh, but basically closing this up just a little bit so we can have some nice swinging or double doors. And then that will be a, hopefully a functional bedroom. And I'm also going to start doing some cleanup here. I'm gonna shore up these stairs. I'm, my plan is to uh, drill in and then glue and then screw so that uh, the areas here that are you know, obviously cracked and, and need some love, we can salvage those and keep them for hopefully quite a bit longer. And uh, probably lots of patching as well because uh, I neglected to do some of that and uh, I just need to go over the whole top floor and uh, get that done. So that's today. Uh, unfortunately, no little helpers today. Um, <laughs> maybe next time. Quick vid, EO, at the corner of the stairway. So some of this was all lifting up and it was, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some old wallpaper here. Actually, I think multiple layers of old wallpaper. So I am pulling back what's lifted all the way back to a place where it's you know seems pretty solid i'm gonna put some plaster in here and then uh smooth it all out and then we're gonna repaint it and some work to do all right halfway through one door up i definitely had a lot of help on this i barely did any of this i, I carved out a couple hinges but yeah now removing that piece here that's gonna come over, and then this door and the other one are gonna butt up against each other, and it's gonna be magic. It's gonna be magical. I'm very excited. But yeah, now I gotta pull that off, and this is the best part. So, suggestion my contractor was to cut this piece and then pull this piece out. Look at that. I don't know what these are, but there's what? Oh, six nails in there, and I thought there wouldn't be anything in the middle, but nope, there were two. Two side by side, it's fantastic. Anyway, all right, so this was the longest day so far. Uh, it was awesome because I had uh, John here helping. So these are the new doors that will lead into uh, that room, which is gonna be a bedroom. Um, like the, for the, ha like the, I don't know what the drop is along from here to here, but it's gotta be, I don't know, more than an inch, I think. Um, it's at least three quarters of an inch. And the reveal all the way around, I don't know, actually it's not the reveal, but whatever that is right there, like you can't really tell from the video, but it's perfect, which is, I don't know, I think that's fantastic. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, John. Uh, and here, um, I've got some work to do uh, with the uh, drywall that's hanging out there on the floor along with the mess. And uh, before John got here, I was making another mess in here. so. I think there's like, I don't know if it's two, three, four layers of wallpaper on here. Um, it's thick, whatever it is. Um, I pulled some off down here too, but uh, basically I'm just going to go through and patch all this mess that I made. It was all the stuff that was loose off the walls. Um, and I started taking apart this lovely, uh, lovely sub panel where, you know, course we have all these outlets for various reasons but yeah I'm probably gonna leave the sub panel um, I'm actually not sure yet uh, but uh, you know it's always nice to have a sub panel especially uh, upstairs here um, where uh, I believe the electric heat has been um, disabled or otherwise disconnected uh, so got to find a way to get that back up there hopefully it's just dropped back at the panel um, over over here but we'll see so yeah it was quite the day, and I would say this is probably the biggest uh, project that we've done here so far. 
Uh, fairly excited though, because I'm pretty, pretty psyched about how it turned out. Uh, and now we have you know, really a usable, I would say a usable bedroom uh, right here off what, what will be a usable living room in the future. So yeah, anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I also made a vest back here, but yeah, good day. Uh, thanks for watching. A uh, little bonus video uh, as I was walking back up here. A little treat here. It's my bucket. That's the water that's collected in my bucket. Uh, it's filled up pretty quick, actually. So. So, yeah. <laughs> Water's not supposed to, for, for those who don't know, water's not supposed to be in inside like that. We like to keep the water outside. So, um, yeah, gotta figure that out. Oh, I moved some stuff and now it's leaking faster. I don't know what to do. My bucket's gonna fill up. <laughs> My bucket's gonna fill up and then it's gonna spill out of the bucket. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, no. No, stop it. Stop it with your leaking. I was getting bonus videos all over the place today. Came down to the basement to make sure the boiler was running. And I found a leaky stack. I don't know what it's doing up there. I hope. Oh, this is a weird thing to say, but I hope it's just the toilet. Um, we were using it today. We hadn't used it before. We hadn't flushed it at least. I hope it's just the seal around the toilet because I think this is a straight shot going up. That'd make me super happy. Happiest as I've ever been touching toilet water. Yep. 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 <laughs>